Hi everyone. So I want to uh, talk to you guys for a few minutes about the difference between Waverly chalk paint and Fusion mineral paint. I just tried this today and I really loved it. Okay, so before I go into painting, um, the reason I really like the chalk paint and the Waverly is really great. It is a bargain brand. You can get it off the shelf at Walmart, but it has amazing coverage. You can thin it out. It's super chalky and it's very pigmented and I really love that. So on the other hand, the, the awesome thing about the Fusion paint is that it does already have a top coat in it. It's a one-step paint. Um, it's minimal prep and when I say minimal prep I mean you have to clean your piece you always have to clean you always have to fill in any scratches or anything like that it, so this will go over um, you know like any type of wood or whatever for the most part and again you don't have to use any kind of top coat on this if you don't want to anyway like I was saying one step paint minimal prep you do not have to seal. I still chose to seal this with the wax just because I think it uh, really brings the color out a lot and I just like the additional color. I figure you can't hurt. Vanna's here now. Um, for those who don't know, this is my munchkin Vanna. She's my little helper sometimes at the workshop. Um, anyway, I already scuffed up a piece yeah. of <laughs> a little drawer we're going to be painting on today. Um, Hello. So now I'm applying the mineral, fusion mineral paint. This is an acrylic based, resin based paint and it has a it's considered a one step paint all in one because it does have a top coat already inside of it so you do not have to wax this paint as you can see one coat really beautiful coverage it went on really well the consistency is really thin um, I did an entire dresser in this earlier today and I thought that the it took me about two coats to cover the entire thing and it was mahogany so that's a pretty dark wood so as you see, not a lot of streaking. Take a picture of me. Oh, here, here's Vanna. Hello. What are you doing? I think you're doing it. You're not doing anything. Really? You're playing. I am? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm applying coat number two right now and you guys can see how solid this coverage is for this Waverly chalk paint. Not a lot of streaking. The great thing also about the chalk paint is that you can sand it down very easy to get a really smooth finish. As you guys can see on this paint as well, two coat coverage and minimal streaking. Okay, so we just put the second coat of paint on the drawers and we're gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna come back and show you, uh, I'm gonna show you what the uh, finished product looks like. the second coat of paint is dry so we are gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you that all right so I have my flash on real uh, right now just so you can see I accidentally got some of the opposite color but I really like the overall finish of this except that's my fingerprint because I touched it when it was still wet oops this is the chalk paint, same thing. Honestly, they look very similar. Somehow there's like a metallic sheen going on on this. Like you can see the sparkles, right? 
I have no idea where that's coming from. Um, but I'm kind of cool with it. Like, it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna take a 600 grit little piece of sandpaper that I have here, and I'm just gonna sand it down. And of course, the reason that people really like this chalk paint is that it's easy to distress. Now, this feels so smooth, so, so, so smooth. And you don't wanna use too heavy of a grit because you can actually streak your wood. But I, let me just show you. You can see right there how nice and easy that distress is. So now I'm gonna show you this side. And again, you don't have to sand the fusion paint down. You can literally just throw it on and go, which is amazing. But I do like a smooth surface. So for me, it's all about the touch. So overall, if you are a beginner and you've never painted furniture before, I would definitely recommend the fusion mineral paint or the Waverly chalk paint. I think the Waverly, you might have a little bit more work. Uh, it depends if you want to put a top coat over the fusion paint. I like it like that, but you don't have to. The 16 ounce jar of Waverly chalk paint at Walmart costs $10.50. And you can thin it out and stretch it quite a ways. The fusion paint 16.9 ounce container is $22 on Amazon and in most stores. And I would recommend. Overall, my summary between the two would be the Waverly is cheaper, but you have to seal it. Um, have to, have to, have to seal it with a top coat or a wax. The Fusion Paint is a bit more expensive, but I would say well worth it. You don't need to seal it at all. So I hope you liked my video and found any part of it informational and beneficial to you. And thank you all for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day.